This video is brought to you by the lovely sponsors below. Thank you so much for your support. <sighs> you seem to be in need of aid, child. Oh, Gilles. Hello. Can I help you? My apologies, Miss Nina. I just couldn't help but overhear the conversation you were having just now. Quite the dilemma it is, indeed. Hmm. You happen to overhear, huh? That almost sounds like you were eavesdropping on purpose. On <laughs> purpose? <laughs> My dear, you have such little faith in this old man. I mean, your past history speaks for itself. Not to mention what happened a couple of months ago. While I have no defense for my actions in your history books, the very least I can do is once again reiterate that the actions of the figment you saw in the tower were completely out of my control. You would truly hold that against me? Right. Anyways, what do you want, Gilles? Ah, oh, I thought you would never ask. I can tell this current problem truly is causing you great distress, my child. We cannot have that now, can we? Raylati's book has a great amount of knowledge for trials such as these. Perhaps I could extend my services to you, Miss Nina, if you so wish. Your generous offer, if we are to call it that, has been denied. Your immediate response wounds me, Mr. Avenger. Even just a little bit of thought to the idea would have been good. Miss Nina, wouldn't you agree? No, I... My thoughts are the same as his, Jill. Oh, come now. If you value your dominant hand, I would advise that you make the step you just took your last, foul caster. Testy, testy, aren't you supposed to be a gentleman? As a fellow nobleman myself, it is unsightly to see the likes of you stoop so low as to threaten one with the same status as you. There are always exceptions to the rule, as you know already. If you had read my tale, you would be aware of the fact that I am not above getting my hands dirty. Especially if it means ridding the world of people like you. <laughs> How very frightening. I suppose my skills will rot away if I do not put in the time to practice once in a while. Perhaps I may even get the upper hand on you. Oh. How that would fill me with such joy, almost as the thought of my Sean's all together in one place. <laughs> oh, you're actually challenging me? Ha. How very brave for a coward who typically hides in the shadows. In light of your newfound bravery, I'll see to it that your end is a very slow and painful one, you eyesore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Absolutely not. This is not happening in the hallway. You hear me? Mm -mm. We do not have the budget to fix the walls again. Huh? My apologies, good sir. I'll see to it that it doesn't happen again. Another time then, I suppose. And Miss Nina, the offer is still open. I'll be around if you change your mind. <laughs> <sighs> Director Musaki, Kaldia's forces would not be affected should they lose a servant or two, would they? I'll see to this matter personally, even. All you would have to do is ask. In fact, I would relish the chance to do so. Tempting as your offer is, who knows if we may need him in the future. Bonus servants aren't a thing, you know. A pity. I'm surprised to see you out and about, Director. Not by choice. Emperor Nero barged into my office and forced me to be her messenger boy. I'm the frickin' Director. I don't have time for things like this. Sure sounds rough to be you. I applaud Emperor Nero for managing to do what others couldn't, though. At any rate, I guess I can say it while I have you two here. The new fest is coming up pretty soon. As per usual, she's holding a tournament and recruiting participants. If you want to sign up, you need to find another servant to recruit to your side, Nina. Seems like she was inspired by the recent racing event. Uh, oh, already? <sighs> it's amazing how time flies. I suppose you aren't going to be participating in the festivities? No, not this time. I see. <clears throat> As always, your hard work is appreciated by all of the servants here, Mr. Musaki. You'll have to forgive my master. She's a bit tongue-tied at the moment, for lack of a better word. Uh, huh? Oh, it's no big deal. I... yeah, I should probably get going. Otherwise, her highness, am I locking up in her theater again? 
We can't have that now, can we? Worry not, Director. You are performing your duties for Her Highness well thus far. You may continue with your tasks. Thank you. I... I very much appreciate you stepping in, Avenger, but I could have said something to him. You may not be aware of this, Master, but you very much wear your heart on your sleeve. It is easy for me to tell when you are in distress. As your servant, I took the action I felt most appropriate. I apologize if I overstepped my boundary. No, 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 no! No need to apologize! Uh, th thank you. <laughs> mm. Am I really that easy to read? No, 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 now's not the time to think on this. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I got lost in my thoughts for a moment. I assure you it is fine. It would not be the first time it has happened, after all. Hey! <laughs> You're the worst sometimes. Is that so? My master's real feelings come to light. I suppose it is only natural considering my class and the kind of person I was when I was alive. I, uh, I didn't mean it like that, okay? Ugh, you are such a bully. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, Nerofest, yes, uh, we need a second person, right? I think it would be fun to participate this year since we didn't get a chance to last time. If it is something you wish to do, Master, I have no objections. Do you happen to have someone in mind? Hmm? Actually, I think I do. Humor me, would you? 